Oh my gosh. <coughs> Oh, hello, Margaret. I just have to tape up my camera. Hold on. Not my camera. I mean, my camera cord. Well, so I apologize if you see the camera kind of flying through the air here. There we go. Okay, I think we're finally set up. So here we are with Authentique. And when we're done, I have a lot to show you guys. I'm only going to show you one now. Hi, Vicki. And then here is the thing. <laughs> I have got to get, hi, TC. I'm picking up more. So I'm going to show you from the folio. So I, I'll be in the warehouse because I have to pick up more of what we're going to be using. So really quick, um, our folio today is going to be two parts this week and next this week. And I need to put the cutting guide in here for you. This week we're going to be doing uh, the folio creation, but the next week that'll give you time because we're also um, Authentique has put together a special patriotic line. So it's going to be a little bit different, but I'll have it. I'll have another folio made in it to show you. But I use the calendar line for July. And you will have papers that look like this. So I'm going to show you. Oh, hi, Lori. Well, I'm glad you took the day off. Um, this is the calendar line. So you're going to see some different formats, which I thought just really made this have a lot of personality. Then we're going to use the Voyage line. Now, the Voyage is the authentic, um, like, well, it's the Voyage line. <laughs> and in it, you also have some of the artists in blue. So if you get the collection kit, you will have the Spectrum paper in there. Hi, Raven. And then, again, you can use some of these. They're still, you know, very patriotic, some of them, but I didn't use many of them. So... When you're going through, well, let's go through the folio so I can show you what I used. And so for our folio, like I said, we're going to just be creating the shell and all of the flaps inside. And wait till you see the inside. This thing will hold 45 photos or more. You know, I know you cut them. And we'll be creating these cute little florets. That's what I wanted to show you is that paper on the calendar line that has the different formatting. That's what was used here. So it really gave it that 4th of July look. Then we've got the little firecracker streamers. We're going to make those next week. And I just closed mine with a clothespin on the belly band. Some silver dots from my stash. So there's that calendar line paper that see has the different formatting. So it works really well. And that's going to be our closure. And I did use a just a paper clip so the cover again is that calendar line paper i'm going to point those papers out so you'll know the calendar line the back is from your calendar line collection kit for july and we use everything but one sheet and when you open it here we have these two sheets are going to be voyage so i've combined them and like I said, there is going to be a special line that Authentique has been able to put together with a bunch of these papers. And I'll have that uh, to show you. I'll show it this week so you'll know what you can purchase from your either local stores if they're open or from countrycraftcreations.com. Again, calendar line. Love it because it just sits perfectly like the flags waving out. So our little folio is not chipboard, but you're going to love making it this way because it makes it very sturdy again calendar line so now this is where you're going to start seeing some of that voyage line but it just goes together so great four by six photos actually you'll want to cut them down to about three by five and a half so we're going to use you can use a different i used ivory artisan cardstock again from voyage now these papers right here are all from voyage Voyage Collection Kit, Voyage Collection Kit, 
and Voyage collection kit. You'll want, um, like I said, just a collection kit. Voyage, the Voyage, again from Voyage and Voyage, and the wood grains are all from Voyage. Hi, Sherry. Whoops, the wrong way. So no magnets, everything just stays down. It's, it's really nice and heavy. And then again from the collection line, of course, and this will open and you're going to see some voyage and the cut apart from the collection line. And this is also in your collection line, in your collection kit. I have a laughing audience down in the room today. <laughs> And yet you have room for a big four by six. And I just use seam binding to close this with. And then if you have any tags or anything you want to use, this is also a pocket. Oh, I know they went together so well. And this is made, these are our big four by six sheets, but I cut them down. Actually, they're bigger than that, five by seven, if you leave it whole. So maybe you have those really cool parade pictures, but I, I divided mine up. And then you have this nice big front there. So you could use all of just Voyage line if you wanted. Timeless, this would make a great wedding uh, gift if you use Timeless. And then you're going to have the waterfall with the same size here for your more photos. So you can see why, even though it's a little folio, there's no chipboard involved, it's going to take two, day, two, uh, two times. So this week and next week. So today, we're just going to create everything here. And it is better to put this together before you mat it. I didn't do that. And then I found I had some seams here. So we will be putting it all together. Next week we'll do the matting. But you can also go through the walkthrough. And you'll be able to see if you want to do the matting at home. Just close up. Close up. Cutting guide I will post again as we get started here. And then, of course, we'll do the decorating next week. I just used a, a close, not a close bin. Close bin might not work with this one. I just used a paper clip, added the ribbon. And we don't, yeah, I wanted her to show on her bike because she's in the parade and the American flag. I just love it. I just love how the papers came together. And I'm so excited to teach you guys how to make this. So let me post the cutting guide one more time and let's get started. Cutting guide is posted, and it is also on Everything Authentique on our sister page. So you can also check on Everything Authentique. And to get started with, we want to start with our folio base. Yes, USA, yes. And I'll tell you what, nobody does a USA paper better than Authentique. <clears throat> Even when you're combining the lines, it's just great. This is our folio base. And our base is two sets of cardstock, just two, nine by 12. That's all we're going to need to get started. But we need to do some scoring. And the scoring is what makes this, it also gives it more body because we are going to be scoring all of our edges and folding them over. And you're going to be amazed how much body it gives this little folio. And it's just, it holds together really nice. It's one of those projects you just want to hold on to and sleep with, you know. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. Some of you will understand. <laughs> okay, 9 by 12. Let me double check my cutting here. Yeah, Because you want these to be perfect, both, sides, both pieces. Because the way we join them together, yeah, we are good. Just make sure they're both pretty much the same length. So you want the 12 inch at the top. And on our first one, we're going to score it half inch.
four, five, that's your gusset, and 11. One half, four, five, 11. Then you're going to turn this to the nine inch across the top and you're going to score at half inch. And I'm turning mine so that I know it's perfectly half inch and we're gonna score half inch again. Actually going this way though, you do want this one inch to your right. And you'll see when we go to put this together why. <clears throat> so our second piece, our second piece, we're going to score just a hair different. We're going to score at one inch. And the 12 inch is at the top of my scoreboard. Then you're going to score at seven. Seven and one half. I like to turn it and score again at half inch. You don't have to, but it just makes sure that in case the paper isn't perfectly square. Then I want to turn it so the nine inches at the top and I want to score it half inch top and half inch bottom. Lots of scoring going on, but we're going to, you'll love this as we put it together. So again, you want your two one inches in the center because that's where we're going to join these together to create the folio. And what I want to do here is on this right hand piece so that I know it's going to fit perfect. We're going to put them on top. I just like to take a little bit off, just a little bit. See, this is going to sit on top up to that score line, and I don't want it to overlap. So we're going to grab the first one, and let's finish up those score lines. One inch and the one inch in the center. Oh, sorry. You know what? We're having some flies, and I forgot we haven't had flies in a while. And I have this big Newfoundland. She's a Newfie mint. I forgot she hates flies. Well, she just caught one in midair and went flying i don't know if you guys heard that did you get a fly yeah she got a fly she doesn't like flies she eats them it's the craziest thing on earth that was that was funny okay let's pick up those we have half inch at the top and bottom one inch to the right um and this half inch is actually going to become our outer piece so um, what we're going to do is cut out these corners. We're going to cut out these corners. And I'm going to just angle them here. I'm going to trade scissors. I'm going to angle. I've got to trade again. Yes, I have three pairs. <laughs> Sky raisins. Yes, Tracy. That's a good name for them. You missed it. Journey just caught a fly in there. I heard you. Did and you hear? I, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's that time. Yeah. I forgot about her and flies. <laughs> we can't even have those little flying helicopters in the house. She catches them out of midair. It's just hilarious. So we're going to take off that corner. If you'd like to make folios, but you don't because they don't seem strong enough, this is the perfect way to make it so that they're super strong. Sorry, we do have... Um, some construction going on so we have different workers going through the building today 
So we have these on the one inch. Now on this though, do not angle this piece. You want to cut it straight across because that's our center gusset. Miter the bottom, but straight across on your one inch. Right here on this one inch, we need to take those out. But don't angle. Well, don't matter. The camera's not centered. There we go. I'm going to angle here. Sorry. You are going to angle. But then... Oh, Connie, well, thank you. We're going to fold those half-inch score lines back. We're going to cut this off. You want to use your paper as a guide so that this is perfectly straight. And it goes across. Unless you're like me and it's not perfectly straight. So we're going to fix that by folding this over. There we go. Well, Bev, it's my fault. I didn't post the, um, I usually do the preview thing overnight. I completely forgot last night. I have to tell you, I kind of took yesterday off. The mall opened and I was gone. Yes, I was neglecting my duties. Because if you got to the mall when it opened, everything in Dillard's was 50% off. Now, come on. I had to get there. Okay. Hi, Linda. That is now what that's going to look like. We're going to call this our gusset. This is our gusset. These are our enforcements. We're going to now glue those down. So I'll use my art glitter glue. And we're going to glue them to the inside. Now, if you happen to glue them to the outside in your paper, it's okay. It just means your flap's going to be on the opposite side. Um, there's, there's no really way to mess this up. Except for smearing glue everywhere. <laughs> okay. Fold these to the inside. That's what gives us a lot of extra body. It's just amazing. Now it's up to you. I'm going to fold this in first and then these on top. The thing is you just kind of want to keep it uniform. Either those down and this on top. Or if it doesn't matter to you. You can do one and one that, but that um, I like them to be the same. So I'm going to do the long side first. Hi, Connie. Well, on the the albums are in our videos for Authentique are there too. Just go to YouTube, and you can actually find all the. Authentic any videos with country craft creations under countrycraftcreations.com. And if you're looking for a specific video, especially one of the authentic, just click on videos and you'll see it with the authentic um, brand, which I there we go, meant to change. <laughs> so the authentic brand will show up on our authentic tutorials. The rest of them will have Country Craft Creations on there. Okay. So, again, I'm going to put this to the center. And you're going to see how much better your paper just is from finishing off your edges. So, once again, 
Remember our two one inches are they need to meet in the center. So we're going to do the same thing we did here, but over on this side, it's only half inch. And I know I get a lot of questions. Why is that side only half inch? Oh, you don't have to take that part. Because see, it's it's what rolled on the inside. And it has to be one half inch because I know a lot of you are wondering why is that smaller? This bulk creates the whole one inch there. So that's what gave it room to fold over. I'm going to just repeat the same thing. Hello, Candace. And if you fold with the weight of the paper, see, you're going to find it'll stay pretty much straight. Same cutting. This you need to keep square. So let's go ahead and start there. Let's keep the one inch square that you can miter on the inside. I do cut on the inside of the score line to get rid of that that bump. Oh, see that's see how that's sticking. Can you see how that's sticking past the paper here? So you can now straighten that up so you've got a straight line. On the half inch, just go ahead and miter those. Hey, Pamela, how's that little beagle doing? Hi, Heather. Center, same thing. You sure have a lot of meetings. <laughs> but you're working. That's okay. Go ahead and fold. Fold those in so you can now cut that off. Keeping it straight. Oh, she's, oh yeah. You know, being a baby beagle, they sleep a lot. Okay, that's now to the left, and we're going to glue all these flaps down. Hi, Lori. Oh, thank you. I like I, I like this folio. I think it turned out really well, especially with this collection. And combining the two, because, you know, a lot of... Um, a, the printers because authentic only prints here in the USA and actually they print local. So local, that means to us <laughs> here in Utah and a lot of the printers were down and so I'm doing this one kind of backwards. And so they weren't able to print a patriotic line this year, but we weren't going to let that go. We, so we combined after talking with Sam She's like, get those two collections together and let's see what you can make. And I did, and this is what we made. Oh, puppies always smell good. <laughs> no, it's not the end of June yet. I'm sorry. We've got a little ways to go. And I just noticed I didn't clean up my edges. Okay, that's what your two pieces are going to look like. So here's one thing I want to kind of show you. It, it won't matter that when you put it together. And then if you decide you want, your flap can be on either side. Just so you know. If So if you put something on wrong, it's not going to be. This is like 
a no mistake folio. I'm loving it. So we're going to now set the one that we cut a little bit off because we have the half inch to the right. And I want to add my adhesive to the shorter one. This is the one I cut, cut that hair off just a little bit off of. And I'm going to put it right up to the score line. Make sure it's straight. So now's your chance to, to go back through. And just straighten up any edges you need to. And you know, you could if you can fold those in. I did attempt to do that, but I found it got in the way of my hinges. So if you can miter them really small, you definitely can fold your hinge parts over if you want. I'm just going to go through and burnish these score lines. And I did happen to get some of mine sticking over. I don't know how, but I did. <laughs> So I'm going to trim it. Oh, do I? <laughs> I'm throwing papers across the yard <laughs> at the people. I mean, across the desk of people. Sorry. Okay. And this one. See how nice that holds its shape and because we have weight it's like putting weights on the bottom of your your um, curtains so also if you don't my original one see I have it opening this way that but you don't have to it can open this way totally up to you just so you know go ahead and decide before we start putting flips and stuff in even then, I mean, it really isn't going to matter too much till we get to this waterfall and a part here, your orientation of how you want it to go. So I'm going to keep mine the same as this one. For me, I like this waterfall on this right hand side. Now you can also add a magnet. So if you want to use magnets, but I would suggest two. I didn't do magnets because I wanted that expansion room. And you can't always get that with magnets because they will kind of off-center each other. But now we want to create the inside. And we'll be putting everything right on and we'll be matting it next time. So we're going to start with this left-hand pocket. Right here on the left-hand side. And it's a little piece that is three and three-fourths by six. So it's three and three fourths by six. And what we want to do is score it half inch. And I'm turning it on the six inch side so my score line is at the top. I'm going to score it half inch again. And then I'm just going to make a mark at two inches. And I'll turn it now. My score line's at the bottom. And I'm going to mark it two and a half. Two and two and a half. You don't even have to mark it if you don't want to. You can just grab your cutter. And also just 
put it in at an angle. Or you can match those dots up. This one's two inches from this score line. And this one is two and a half from the top. Sometimes they're hard to see on dark paper. And we'll cut it right off. Or you can just put it in there and cut it right off. Sometimes I do that. Minder that corner. Straight across the bottom and that corner. Now, you can, if you want to mount this separate, I'm going to kind of show you as we go. Um, this is going to sit here, right to that outer edge. If you, oh, and what we're going to do is, let me show you two things. I off-centered mine, and I didn't put it down until I did the matting. So you can hold it if you want, or you can do your matting where it fits inside of the pocket. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hold this off till next week when we mat this. So you'll just put a clip there. And because I'm going to off center it just a hair so that I make sure I get all of everything covered with my matting. That we can just set to the side. Now we're going to we're going to create those flaps on the inside. And on your cutting guide, I'm going to post it again for those of you just joining us. You will see that it asks for 10, 3 and 3 fourths by 6. And I just, um, I just took a drink. And the, the cup was, what is it called when the cup? You know when the <clears throat> it's wet and I had them on my thumb. Condensation and I had it on my finger from my cup. But I have this wonderful from a local coffee shop and it's just staring at me. <laughs> I have to drink it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have five on each side. Oh, thank you, Lori. We have five on each side. I'm, I've got mine scored, but I'll score one with you. Because I know a lot of you will make this after, but it's six inches long. And it's three and three quarters wide. And all ten of them will be scored this exact same way. With the six inch at the top, you'll score it half inch. That's all. No mitering of our corners. Um, we need to keep them straight because I'll show you. This isn't going to be put on like a waterfall. These are stacked. Um, we're going to stack them on each side. So you have five on each side. And that's one reason I don't map these first. We're we're stacking them on top of each other. And if we map them first, except for you could map the backs. Sorry. No, you can't. You can map the front. We're not even going to worry about that. Never mind. My brain needs to stop. <laughs> we're just going to do it. And we're going to mat it later. Next week. I know it's easier to mat it flat, but you'll find you won't have the problems. Okay. See, we're going to stack them on top of each other. So you can definitely mat your insides if you're using a solid color. So we're going to have three on the left and two on the right. The left and two on the right. Okay. 
so you can see how that works. See, there's three and two. Now, again, if you want this to open the opposite way, you'll just reverse what I'm doing. So if you want it to overlap and close that way, or if it doesn't matter to you, then you'll just do three on the left, two on the right. And grab your book. One thing to notice is your spacing. And what I did is I just brought it down like a sixteenth of an inch from the top because I didn't want to miter the corners. <laughs> I told you this was a super straightforward, cool folio. Yeah, the calendar line. Now, the calendar line is absolutely fabulous from Authentique in the collection kit. So you could do this also as a, you could do it as a summer folio and use July, August, September throughout. It'd be so awesome with that. So we're just going to add our adhesive. Again. Just about a sixteenth of an inch from the top and of course just butt it up to your score line so three on the right If you want, because you are going to cover it, you definitely can take off like just those corners so that they don't stick <clears throat> stick beyond. Oh, I know these allergies are just awful right now. Which Utah has a really bad allergy weed, and they're actually trying to eradicate it, I saw. And it would be really nice. It's all that gold golden color pollen that you see and if you ever come to Utah and we're trying to get rid of it which would be really nice because it kind of is a junk weed so again I'm not really mitering this because I don't want I mean I just want it to look clean sometimes if you miter too far I don't always I kind of have that little hole at the top I don't know why Okay, we're just going to line those up with each other. They should be the same length, same width as we're creating this. Well, the nice thing about this calendar line, too, um, you can purchase it separately, each month separate, and that's what I like. So maybe you're not ready to work on October, November, December then you can just get the ones you like for now. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn it so that when I open it, I'm going to leave one page down. Glue on there. So that I can make sure we're completely straight. Again, you're just going to butt it up to that um, score line. I just leave mine on top there. So that they're even. Once you get the first one down, then you're good to go. I now have these all over the place. There we go. <laughs> okay, with that closed, I need to put the second one on.
Hi, darling. Oh, yeah, and it's really quick to catch up on. So there is our first flip. Thing, everything will be covered in pattern paper there. Like I said, I did not use any magnets um, because of the thickness of this, and I knew we needed some expansion, and it, it really does lay pretty nice. We're going to repeat now on the bottom. So with my first one, again, just about a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom, and we have that space in the center. See, the main thing is to keep that straight there so you don't just cut those corners. Just sits right on top. And watch that wet adhesive. There we go. Slides. It does. It took a little, just a little extra on the, the matting because there's so many flips on here. But it was a really relaxing folio, I'll be honest with you, to make because it wasn't, there was no stress. <laughs> Hi, I use the Art Glitter Glue. And I do sell that at Country Crowd Creations. But um, we're just waiting for more shipment. And so also... It works really well on your projects because it's absolutely permanent. So there's my three. I'm going to turn it sideways again for the next one. So I'll just fold one of my flaps down the bottom once we can keep this straight. And even with each other. Remember, right up to the score line, don't overlap it, or your book won't it won't close. Close that bottom one, and we'll put one of these on top. Next week, we'll be doing all the matting. And what I'll do is I will get a, I will attempt really hard to get a cutting guide up for you. Um, and just like that, our six. And these are six inches. I apologize about, um, yes. Can you do me a yes. favor? Can you run something up to the warehouse? Yep. So yeah, you can still use red. I almost used red, Terry, for this project. So there we go. <laughs> uh, your whole thing. And we're just both. Okay, now when you sit this, you'll see then you've got about just a tiny, tiny smidgen at the top and the bottom. Makes it sit there nice and tight, nice and neat. So on these, I did just cut those corners off. And then we're going to start with three on the left and three on the right. Again, on the inside of... My whole goal with this little project was to, to pack in here as many spots for our 
and by doing the flip the, the page fold overs like that I think it really did increase your photo areas now you're just going to stack on top of each other We now have dogs snoring. It's crazy. Yeah, um, the video got really fuzzy. On no, it's it's blurry. It's Again, just lining it up so everything's straight. Sorry, we're still we're actually we're in here working. So yes, I did, Terry. Everything is scored a half inch. Um, yeah, everything is scored one half inch on the six inch side at the top. Now I've got three on the left. These are down. And just make sure you're burnishing everything. That's okay though. Everything's having a little technical difficulty here. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to um, Authentic Liberty. Yes, that was a beautiful. I'm going to use this page to guide me on making sure everything is straight. And I did forget that little corner. Oh, it is hump day. Yeah, it is hump day. Um, it does feel well. You know what? We've had such beautiful hot weather in Utah, and now it's raining today, so it's really thrown my equilibrium off. <laughs> it feels weird to go from beautiful, hot, sunny to a little bit chilly and rainy, but we need the rain. Yes, Liberty, um, all of the authentic, though, patriotic lines are amazing. So I'm really glad they were able to do the July calendar line. So we still had some of it, and then it just goes so well with Voyage. So you can see it's not going to be a very hard at all to uh, mat this because we don't have the bulky chipboard or anything. In Liberty, Pamela, there's a saying inside of there on the cut apart. Um, it was actually taking, taken from a military photo in my house. Um, and you, well, you can find it online, but I have it framed and Sam was in our studio one day and took a photo of it. And I'm like, oh, it's about the military wife on there. That's, that's my favorite saying. Okay. Now 
We're just going to burnish everything to make sure it's laying flat. I did post a cutting guide and I'll be glad to post it again for you right now. And then it's also on everything authentic. So once again, we're going to go left, right, left, right, left, right. Or you can definitely change your however you like. But you're going to want to basically have that determined. Next week, we're going to make the pocket now, this little pocket here. But this sits on that front page, which also weighs it down nicely. So that's why you want to kind of have your orientation decided on. So now we are going to make our pocket next. And your pocket on the cutting guide is the one that is 5 and 7 eighths by 12. And this is kind of the all-in-one pocket, the flap. Everything is just combined right here with it. And I did 5 and 7 eighths because it will be 4 and 7 eighths. So it fits nicely on that page. Um, but we'll start with it at the 4 and 7 eighths at the top. No, 5 and 7 eighths. And we're going to score here at half inch. Then I want to turn it to the 12 inch side. And I'll score at 12 inch, six and three quarters and seven. And I'll turn back to the five and seven eighths and score at half inch. So once again, half inch, go ahead and turn it. Turn it. <laughs> we'll see. So depending on where you turn it, you're going to get those second ones. It may come out at six and three fourths and seven. It's not going to matter. Or it may come out at five and five and a quarter. You just want this five inch side at the top and half inch. So let's fold in. Ooh, let's fold in the side. Ooh, that is neat. I did not know that, Pamela. So Rhode Island has the oldest 4th of July parade in the U.S. And the parade route has red, white, and blue essential lines. Only state that is allowed to do that. That is neat. I'm going to go do it in my driveway. <laughs> then I'll be the only house allowed. <laughs> okay. The center ones, though. Okay, we fold, we fold those half inches to the back. This, we're going to fold to the front. We have a little gusset there so that it will accommodate my decorating. And I did use foam dots. And I really wanted, um, I wanted room for these cute little flaps on the inside because those cut apart cards are wonderful just love them these are from the calendar line this is a saying by john adams and the strongest people are not those who show strength in front of others but who win battles we know nothing about and then we've got plenty of room here and that's why we need that gusset But I did also use foam dots on the July. Okay. Let's form that gusset. So as you can see, this becomes a pocket. Um, and we don't need, we don't need all this on top, but we need these gussets on the side because this is what's going to create the pocket. So going to start on this longest edge my five inches at the top I'm just going to miter right along there and I'm going to cut straight up and totally get rid of that half inch gusset
and cutting to my gusset. Good thing we're not going to mat this because I, I will make another one. But once again, straight up or you can put it in your cutter. And see how that will fold in. And I'm going to get rid of um, the corners here by just cutting straight across. And don't cut into your score line in the corner. So there's the back. You can see now where that becomes a pocket. And that will become your flap on the front. But once again, we don't want to put this down until we mat this front page. And it will sit like so. And then if you have any tags, or you want to make a tag, it will fit right inside of your pocket. So we'll put that aside with this little pocket that will go on that left hand flap. So we have our waterfall. Oh, and we also have our little flaps that go on the inside. I'm going to put it together with you using just a tape that I have that is repositional full. And, or here, I'll just kind of pin them on because I need to redo this pocket because I cut into the edge of it. But you're going to cut six of the, or four of these. And they are three and five eighths. And you're gonna have you're gonna cut all this out of your scraps. You you won't have to cut into any new twelve by twelves. But this is three and five eighths by four and a quarter. And we will be double matting. That's why I went a little bit bigger. I did do um, the double matting with the red that came in the calendar line for the cut aparts. And then I just use the solid backs. I know there's a lot more to this, Joyce, than it looks, huh? It's a lot of little bits and pieces. It's just really fun, and it it just holds together so nice. So now on the inside of your pocket, again, I just started about a quarter. Actually, this one's about a yeah quarter of an inch from the bottom. Two on the left, two on the right, and you're going to do the same thing. I said, I can't do mine because I have to redo this. I cut into there. So I have two stacked, stack them just like we did the others. Two on the left, make them even, and two on the right. And then for this, I would suggest a tie closure. And you're going to We'll be hooking it underneath here next week, right on there, and then also on our flap. I'm counting here, too. Let's see. I think, I believe, Karen, I believe I used 15 sheets of 12 by 12. And I meant to count that before we got started. And then I didn't. I am so sorry. So the waterfall that's going to now come down the side. As you can see, this is four, but we needed it to be smaller. So these are three and seven eighths by six. And I did three of them, three and seven eighths by six. Oh, let's score them. So three and seven eighths by six. And on the six inch at the top of our scoreboard, you'll score each one at half inch. And you'll do all three waterfalls. These we do um, are going to have to do a little bit of lining up. But it's real easy. <coughs> we won't be mitering the corners. I 
I'm turning it upside down. Totally easier for me uh, to keep them straight. And I also kind of use my scoreboard because that really helps me keep it straight. So I'll be lining it up here to the outer edge. And that will give you just that little tiny bit of space right there between your gusset. Karen, I have to get better about that because I do. I usually just grab a pack of 25 and I need to start counting it. Okay. So using my scoreboard to line up at the edge and then the top of your book. Like I said, mine is upside down. Don't miter any corners. We're going to do the same thing with our second one. Lay the page down to make sure everything looks straight. So where the first one ends is the, where the next one will start. You know, I wish I had done that um, with these gone red, white, and blue, but that's okay. I'll make another one after this, probably. This is Craft Black White, or cream will look wonderful with this collection. Again, just lay it flat, perfectly straight. Scoreboard edge, because it can't go any further, of course. Turn it right side up. Refinish everything. And that is the shell to our album. We don't want to make the belly band, but I did put it on the cutting guide. I took two pieces of 3 by 12 We can't make it yet. You'll see that the album gets a little bit thicker. And we need to do that last because we're going to form the belly band. We'll form it around our finished project. And we'll do that last next week. And we'll also make the little rosettes. So let me do a quick walk through. This that we just created, when you're finished, is going to look like this. So I just used, again, I just made a tag to go in there as a bookmark. Um, and the reason for that is you can actually use it as a bookmark and stick it anywhere that you like. Or you can stick it in the pocket. And you can put cuddle parts in there anywhere you, you decide you want it. Um, so to real quick go over with you, this left hand, these flaps are done completely with Voyage. So these were from the Voyage collection, if you want to look. And then the back is just with our Artisan Ardry cardstock. This way, if you want to go through and do your matting, and everything is just an eighth of an inch on the borders when I cut the papers. And this, again, is from Voyage. I always start that side wrong. Okay. So for our pocket, use the Voyage as the matting. This is all calendar. Voyage, Voyage, and the flaps are all calendar. And then from Voyage, I used 
um, all of the wood grains. So these are all wood grain pieces and that is from your calendar collection. You'll see you'll have a bunch of different cut apart sheets and that's from there. And of course the ivory cardstock, but this is from your calendar line. Our waterfall to the right is all calendar line except for our little gussets which are from the July calendar. And we'll be doing the matting next week and we'll do the decorating. So now I'm going to show you what is brand spanking new. So let me just put this aside so I don't lose any pieces or parts. <laughs> like I said, you can use magnets throughout, but I decided um, with the expansion that's going in here. We do have military pictures that I'd like to put in. Then let's take a look. Ugh, they're heavy. Let's take a look at a new collection. And there is some things in here that are different. So I want to show you. When you order, if you've already ordered this, um, it's really cool. I'm only going to open one, but I do want to show you there is dance and cheer. So your dancer, your cheerleader. Then we have golf and tennis. Things are pretty combined. Baseball. Now these come all in collection kits, just like the calendar lines. There's something a little different I have to show you. Football. This is really fun. Basketball. So, again, whether you have, you know, um, a girls' basketball team, a guys' basketball team, you're going to be able to do some great layouts or cards with this. Um, and that's what I want to go through and show you is they're not – they're not usual lines, so this is going to be really cool. Once I open one. Now, club sports. I thought club sports was really neat. So, club sports has your swimming, some gymnastics, track and field, a lacrosse, and oh, we've got wrestling and volleyball. So, kind of a combination here. And I'm going to open the dance since I had that in already. And I want to show you though, this is the collection kit. Now there are no stickers with this, and there are none of the die cut elements. And there's so that you get an idea of what the lines are. Because it's such a diverse, it's really hard. Now you can also combine, you're going to be able to combine some of the other papers when I was looking through it, I noticed. But you get your six by six. I really like this one. Um, you get the six by six <clears throat> where it's printed six by 12. Look at this, how neat. So these come in the collection kit and you get three sheets of each. No, you get four. Sorry, there's four. So there's not a lot of lines because again, layouts, think layouts, six by six minis. And you've got your double sided. Those are feet. It's hard to see, but those are feet. Those are pom-poms, you know, dancing feet, or you can even use them for the cheerleading. And again, just your great solids. And there's four of those. So there's eight sheets of the six by 12. And then again, you'll have your little cut aparts. Um, you can purchase them on countrycraftcreations.com, Julie. Now, here's our cut apart in the bigger. So, you've got, again, dance and cheerleading. Oh, isn't that one just adorable? And the back of your cut aparts. I'm going to gather up these four. So, there's four sheets. So, you do get the eight, but there's four sheets of cut apart. And then dance on the back of this one. So, again, like I said, your layout. Think layouts. Think cards. Um, then you've got cheer. 
So you have four sheets and shares. So you, you're going to get four and four in your collection kits. And then you have the other set of cut aparts to really add to your cards and layouts, tags, and a, the um, artisan or the spectrum card stock is going to go great with this. So I'm excited to see what the design teams will make. Um, no, the instructions, you just have to follow the tutorial, Shauna. Um, I do them live and the cut, I mean, the cutting guide, um, is again, I'll put it in the comments. So if you want to quickly copy and paste that, then you'll have the cutting guide. So that is what your collection kits consist of. So you have eight sheets, four and four, but you also have these fabulous six by 12. So when you know and to be honest with you unless you've got this huge amount of photos um this is going to do great for a six by six photo um little photo album and that is what is new and all those different sports that we've all been asking for and they are shipping i know we have them here at countrycraftcreations.com and they are now shipping to all the stores, so be sure and grab them while they're still available. So there's dancing cheer, golf and tennis, baseball, how fun is baseball? Then we have football, basketball, hockey, soccer, and club sports. I think they got everybody covered, which is awesome. Okay, everybody. So I will see you next week, and we will be matting our folio. And that will give you time, if you haven't gotten yours put together, to go through and just get all your pieces and parts put together. And then we'll be doing the matting and decorating next week. Uh, the cutting guide, if you are a member on our Everything Authentique or Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, you'll find the cutting guide attached to the video and I've just been putting it in the comments so the cutting guide I also gave it as I went there there's no written instructions we do these free tutorials so that you guys have um, lots of fun projects and ideas of what to do with the authentic paper and oh I hope it comes too and I'll see you next week when we do our matting bye-bye everybody